Y'all, the streets are saying that Toni Braxton might have allegedly banned her sister, Tracy Braxton's husband, Kevin Seurat, from the family. And girl, when I tell y'all that my flabbers were guessed it, the rumors started on social media and quickly went viral. And I'm not gonna lie, the situation seems quite sus especially when you realize that the sisters have been fighting a lot in the past couple of weeks. So did Tony really ban Kevin from the family? Or is there something else going on here? Let's spill this tea. Now, y'all can say whatever you want about Kevin Seurat, but one thing that you can never deny is that he and Tracy loved each other down. They were the only ones in the Braxton family to have a long-term relationship. And even though things were rough for them, at some point, they toughed it out and made it work. They were together for more than 30 years and married for 26 years. And they were married at the time of her passing. He has chosen to grieve in private since she passed away two years ago, and it couldn't have been easy on him. Up until now, the true details of her sickness have been kept away from the public because she wanted to do that, and her family respected that after she passed away. Even though they kept her cancer diagnosis secret until she passed, there were some subtle signs that she was going through something serious. For example, she lost a lot of weight in a short time and fans got concerned. When she posted pictures from her son's wedding, fans talked about how much weight she had lost. Some mean-spirited people trolled her so badly on social media that she had to turn off the comments on Instagram because people were being so mean. She unfortunately passed away in March 2022 and everyone who knew her has been grieving hard for her, especially her sisters, mom, kids, and her husband, Kevin. Well, her sisters and mom recently started starring in a new reality TV show called The Braxtons. And so far, the episodes have focused on how the sisters are coping with the loss of their sister and how they're grieving. Losing a loved one is never easy, so it's easy to see why the show is focusing on their grief. However, fans found it weird that Tracy's widower, Kevin, was not invited to be on the show. He was her next of kin, her soulmate, and the love of her life. So fans figured that if there was someone who should have been on the show, it was Kevin. There was a lot of talk about how disrespectful it was for the family to have conversations about Tracy without even talking about her husband or bringing him in. This led to rumors that Kevin had allegedly been kicked out of the family by none other than Tony. Now, there is no hard proof to support this, but again, fans think it's weird AF that the family isn't letting Kevin be a part of this important conversation. Well, Kevin went live on Instagram a couple of days ago to address the issue, and let's just say that things between him and the Braxtons aren't exactly perfect. I'm not saying there's beef, I'm just saying that there seems to be something going on. The other thing is, I really want people to understand this part. <laughs> to death did us part. Please understand that. Please do. Because some narratives will not include that in that situation. And uh, I, I thank God that uh, he gave us that. And uh, like with me and my son, I'm doing everything I can to make sure he's good. See, we have a whole nother village, you know what I mean? That was always there for us, whole nother village. And that village came and embraced us and helped us on many levels. When we, when we found out about Tracy uh, having cancer December the 15th, 2020, at uh, Georgetown Hospital, uh, we had went through some stuff. Uh, prior to that, we was in California. As they brought up, we was out there taping. Tracy talked about she couldn't swallow. I immediately called the doctor. You know, thank God our doctor was always there for us. Thank you, Dr. C. And um, we set it up. By the time I got back first, she got back, and we was in there, and they took care of us. And, you know, worked it from there. I, mean, I think I was in the rain at uh, Fort Washington Hospital with Tony for about an hour while they did the procedure because at that time everybody couldn't come into the hospital. So uh, we I sat out in the car and pouring down rain, waiting for that. And the doctor called me and I was able to pull up to the front and go inside. And he explained everything to me and then we went to Georgetown Hospital. And from there, I, Tracy didn't want to call anybody and I made the calls because I told her that the family had to know because she needed that support. So that's how the ball started rolling in December. And I knew the holidays was coming around. He also said this. And it's all good, you know what I mean? Because I feel like my wife got the healing that she needed to go through what she went through. And 
the sacrifice to go with that is everything. So I just wanted to share with you guys, and there's still more to give. I never lived in Baltimore, for, uh, baby girl. I live in, a, we've always lived in the DMV, uh, DC area. But I thank God we had like so many levels of like family, you know. I, I use my Masonic family, I use my MC family, I use just our regular social existence family. Like I, I see Miss Bland on here, I see Fawn, I see people on here that was always there on a the regular, picking up the phone, saying, what's up, y'all good? On just a regular level. So right now, and I still have that. I still have it, and I th I'm thankful. I'm very thankful to still have that existence. That's what keeps me, because I got to be strong for my son, because he's going through so much. He didn't come out right to say that he was on bad terms with the Braxtons, but he dropped some hints that there's something going on there. Fans immediately took Kevin's side, and they commented. I do not watch the Braxtons, but I really love Tracy and miss her, but her mom and sisters are not true at all. He doesn't even look like himself anymore. I know that was such a tough loss for him. He stood by Tracy even when her family was treating her bad. He loved her and we all saw it. I really hated how they treated this man. We all fall short. Who are we to judge? No matter how the Braxton sisters feel, this was her husband. He's her immediate family and make the decisions, not them. And the Braxtons never gave you true love, but I see you and thank you for loving Tracy as good as you showed us. God bless you and your son. But drop your thoughts in the comments and then check out this next video.